Welcome guys, this is KLK Party Favors. I uh, hope you all are doing well today. I had a subscriber uh, that requested that I complete a basket from the very beginning. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And on the uh, table in front of you, I have all the items I'm gonna need to complete this basket. I have my basket here with my craft paper that I've torn off of this roll and just crinkled it up and placed it in so I got the height that I want. Um, I will put a link to the description. This is Amazon. Uh, they come three rolls to a pack. Uh, I think it's $20, I think. I'm not really sure, but I will leave the link in the description. Um, also, guys, I'm going to link, try to link the video that shows how I make my bases. I uh, did that video last week and uh, it showed you how I make, uh, how I use a piece of cardboard from any box that I deconstruct. And I have a template in the shape of every basket that I make and I trace it and cut it out. And that is what I use as my base for my container, my basket. This is not for everybody. Each person does their own thing. So I'm not gonna ever get on here and tell you uh, what somebody else is doing is wrong and this is what I do. And well, I tell you, this is what I do, but I won't ever say what somebody else is doing is not right. Everybody has their own um, technique. That's why all these channels are different. Um, this is just a suggestion. Uh, you can continue to make it any way you like. Uh, this is just what I like to do. Um, and that's the good thing about living in the United States. You have a lot of freedom to do a lot of things <laughs> that you want to do. Uh, we all are different. We don't have to do the same thing. And it doesn't make one person better or right over the other. All right. So I'll start out with that positive note. All right, guys. So... Since we're on the base, what I do is take, to cover my cardboard, I use these Dollar Tree tablecloths, and I just cut to size, and I take it and just cover it with tape, okay? Because this is the color of my shred as well, okay? So this keeps you from using a lot of shred. So this is the shred I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna need all this, but this is the shred that I'm gonna use, same color. And I try to keep it the same color as possible. If not, it's okay. Just have to use more shred to cover it up. Okay, so I have my base covered. What I'm gonna do now to keep my base down and intact, I'm gonna put a little strip of tape and uh, you will see that in the other video. Um, the bottom half of the tape will be touching the cardboard. The top half of the tape will be touching the container. That's gonna keep it steady while I start loading my items into it, okay? It just kind of keeps it a little level for you. You don't want one side of your basket contents uh, raising up and you want to try to make it as level as, as you can you know it's not perfect I'm not going to use a leveler to make sure I got it just right it's not that serious but I am going to make sure that when I place my items I'm getting it as level as I can okay so the items we have here, I have got my container ready. The items we have here, we have Bath and Body Works, Watermelon Mojito, the shower gel, and the lotion. So we're going to have that in. And this little hand sanitizer, it is called Island Margarita. We're going to have that. I have a Mama Necklace. We're going to have that in. We're gonna put this loofah in. Since we have shower gel, we're gonna give them a loofah. 
And this is a pretty little candle here. We're gonna have this in as well. And I just added that little label on there, little flower label. Uh, we're gonna uh, put some bath fizzers in. Okay, and I just put in a, a, a cute little drawstring bag. And we're gonna also have this uh, mama t-shirt. We're gonna put that in as well, okay? All right, so the first thing I want to do is decide how I want my t-shirt to look once I put it in the basket. So what I've come up with, this is a box that holds uh, my scotch tape. I like to use this box. I buy a lot of tape, so I have a lot of these boxes. So I'm going to use this box. Uh, to wrap my t-shirt around and this is also going to act as my backer for my uh, basket so what I'm going to do I cut a piece of cardboard from a box and I am going to put it over the opening like that and I'm going to tape it down okay Okay, so now that I have this tape to my box, I am going to turn it over on this side. This is the same tablecloth, plastic tablecloth. I'm gonna wrap this around the box because we want to wrap it and cover it because we're going to, um, the back part is gonna be shown because it's gonna be the backer, okay? So we wanna make sure that we have our box cover. And that will be the back of our basket. So I'm just going to cover this box. Just wrap it like you're wrapping a gift. Okay, so this is our box. We have our box ready. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is get my t-shirt and I'm going to decide how I'm going to place it on that box. Now, I know for sure that I want the mama letters to show. Okay, so I know I want that, at least that. So, I am going to shake it a little bit. Okay, so th this is how we want the front to look, okay? I just want the mama showing. That's it. I don't want the whole t-shirt showing, okay? Because you know with my baskets, I put description of what's in the basket. So, whoever purchases it will know that this is a t-shirt. So I got it folded, okay, as best I can here, all right. I was going to have the back open, but I decided to just go ahead and fold this up, okay. I was going to have it just rolled at the bottom, but I decided to go ahead and go up with it, okay. So I didn't need to wrap the whole box, but I didn't know I was going to do that until I started. And that happens, you know, you might decide to do it one way, and once you get that, 
get going in that direction, you may decide to do something different. That's fine. Okay. So that's how I'm going to set up the back of my um, box. I'm going to move it up just a little bit here. Okay. But before I start uh, taping things down, what I'm going to do is put my little labels on here. Uh, this is one of the labels I made for the front of the container. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on now. Okay, let me set that down go to the front here and kind of always kind of eyeball the center. Okay, so this is the front of my basket. All right, I got that done. Now let's put our t-shirt back here. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of tape. Well, not a little bit. This is going to be a long strip. It's going to be from the back of the container up to the back of the t-shirt just to kind of keep it in place. Okay, see how I have it right here on the container? And it just goes up the back of the t-shirt. That's going to keep it in place for me. Okay. All right. So the next thing we want to do, I always try to get my larger items in first. Um, so what I'm going to do is get this uh, Bath and Body Works going. Now, because I want Mama to be seen, I normally put my Bath and Body Works kind of in the front. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want anything covering up my wording. So what I'm going to do is just place it to the side. Just place it right there on the side. And I'm going to tape it up. So this is going to be one side of the basket. This is going to be the other side. Okay. Now I'm also going to go to the back with this tape because I don't like the way the sides are leaning these little pieces here i don't like that they're leaning so i'm going to and i always try to keep my t-shirts as neat as possible because um people are going to have to iron them anyway but uh i like to have them as neat as i can get them okay so i'm going to go ahead and lock down the mama t-shirt on the front okay and then I'm going to lock down my Bath and Body Works items. I just roll a little piece of tape at the bottom and I'm just gonna stick it. Just stick it right here on the side. Okay. And I'm gonna take this up. Make sure that I can tape it where um, it's kind of secure with the uh, t-shirt. Tape that down. Okay. Now I'm going to get the shower gel. I'm going to get this lock down. I'm going to put my tape at the bottom so I can get it sticking to the surface. And then I'm going to come with go down a little bit. Come with this tape to secure it to the t-shirt. lined up here. Okay. 
All right, so I have my two bath and body work items um, secured. I'm gonna just secure the little top too. And this tape is not gonna affect the t-shirt at all. Okay, so now we have our t-shirt, our Bath and Body Works, um, shower gel, and our lotion. Okay, so we're we're doing good so far. All right, so now I want to place my um, mama chain here. And I think it'll be good right there. Let me see how I'm going to place this before I start putting things in. Uh, I mean, taping things down. These are my bath scissors and a beautiful little drawstring bag. And the candle. I can put that there. I can put it over here. Let's see. I might put my loofah in the back. Or see if I can get it over here. Okay, that's my loofah. I'm just kind of going with the pink and green colors. Um, as you can see, my Bath and Body Works is green and the candle and the hand sanitizer and i got the pink t-shirt the pink bath fizzers i wish i had a pink loofah but i'm gonna go with this white one because i'm not gonna go buy anything else i am finished shopping and now another thing i do i like to because it's gonna have shrink wrap on it um i'm not necessarily concerned with the handles so what i'm gonna do is take these handles uh, shut and um, that's going to help when I put my uh, shred in none of my shred will fall out um, I might not have too much shred in this area but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway okay So now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is start locking things down with tape to make sure that they don't move while they're being transported. I'm going to take down the handle of the loofah. And I may have to put some over the roof. It depends on how it sits in here. This one appears to be needing some over here. And I'll just tape it onto the uh, lotion. It won't hurt it. Just to keep it in its place. Let's put that there. Take down this necklace here. Since it's going to be kind of standing up, I'm going to put it right here on this corner. Okay, because that's where I'm going to be pressing it down at. Okay, I'm going to put something on this little hand sanitizer then we'll get in this little bath fizzers we'll get those in make sure 
show nothing covers up my hair because I want that that to be seen on the t-shirt. this necklace adhere it to the container all right guys so this is what we have and I am going to now find the opening spot and put my shred in I'm going to put a little label back here just to cover that up since I have a lot of tape back there. Um, okay, let's put that back there. Okay, so that'd be something pretty to look good on the back side. Okay. I think we're doing good here. Now I'm going to look and see if there's any flowers that I want to add in it before I do the shrink wrap portion of the video. So let me look in my little collection here and see if I can find a flower that will fit. Let's see. Pretty pink ones here. And I'm gonna have to cut it. Let's see. Get my little clippers. So I'll go ahead and put it over here, and I'll, I have another one. I'll put the other one on with the ribbon. I'm going to use a simple ribbon, make a, sip, a simple bow. I'm not going to use my pull bow. I ordered a lot of um, a lot of uh, ribbon so I can uh, practice my bow making. And uh, Hobby Lobby had a really good sale on their ribbon, so I purchased a lot of ribbon. Okay. it all down okay all right so that's our finished product guys now we're going to get into the shrink wrap give me just a second here let me clear some of this stuff out the way and we're going to get our shrink wrap going and this is my heat gun that i use some people use a hair dryer i like the heat gun it works much better It has two speeds on it, so you can do low and high. Okay. All right, and I have 
have my little, what they call these pipe cleaners. <laughs> I have them ready. Okay. I know something else I thought may be good with this basket. Um, this mom balloon. I've been trying to decide where am I going to use this little balloon. It's just, um, I haven't decided yet. It doesn't look bad there. Um, and I taped some flowers to it, so I had it ready, ready to go. Um, but I think I'm going to wait and use this with something else, okay? So, and if I were to use uh, this balloon, I would definitely use cello wrap. I would not use the shrink wrap, okay? Excuse the noise, guys. And another thing for the new basket makers, be very, very careful when you're buying your uh, cello wrap and shrink wrap. They look, they look the same, but make sure you read it so that you're getting the right thing. Um, make sure it says cello wrap if you don't want to use the heat gun. If you want the shrink wrap where you're going to use the heat gun, make sure it says shrink wrap. One thing I like about Amazon is they will put pictures of the actual heat gun in the listing with the bag so you'll know if you see a heat gun this is a shrink wrap bag and if you don't see the heat gun it's a cello bag so i think that was a really good idea for them to do to help you know the newbies out <laughs> here just make sure all the way to the bottom okay all right so before I start shrink wrapping the SS that you see on the left and the right I'm going to tape that down. And what you can do, you can go to the back of the bag or you can take it and, and wrap it under the bag. Uh, I mean, under the basket. Okay. So. okay. Right, got away from me, guys. <laughs> okay, so here is... I'm going to get this right in a minute. But that's a good reason to uh, take down all your, your content. But what I'm going to do is this tape here, I'm going to take and just take it to the bottom of the basket. Okay? Then I'm going to go to the other side. And see, had I not taped the contents, I would go in there and have to do everything over again. So taping down is a good idea. Okay, so here is the other side. I'm going to take and go down on the side of that bag. Bag. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is use my pipe cleaner. Try to have this list closed in the front as you can. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but if you can, just try to have it as little fold as you can. always just leave myself a little room up there because what the uh, heat gun does is uh, takes out the air from the inside of the bag so I always just leave a little bit at the top because sometimes you can have items started start to lean forward um, so what I do when I start my heat gun wrapping I'll start on the side I'm gonna have it down low so you'll be able to hear me 
starting on the side here. You're done. Don't touch the bag and be careful of the silver tip so you won't burn yourself. And as I'm uh, shrink wrapping it, I like to make sure uh, to keep an eye on the contents of my bag. I want to make sure it's not leaning or distort in, in any kind of way because if it starts to lean you can take your heat gun and go in the opposite direction to prevent that now sometimes if you have a t-shirt wrapped around cardboard sometimes it will easily uh, start to lean forward you just keep shrink wrapping until you get all those little creases out and it takes practice um, the first couple of times you use it you're not going to have it right so don't expect that because uh, a lot of people get frustrated it doesn't look right it never looks right mine didn't either i think i went through two bags of shrink wrap before i finally got comfortable with using the heat gun and getting the bag to look decent uh, so do not be hard on yourself, okay? Do not. Every basket maker went through the same thing. All right, guys. So this is what we have, okay? We have our shrink wrap bag and then once you look at it if you see something that needs to touch up just go ahead and touch it up try not to use too much heat for too long because if you do especially if you're in the same spot you will get a hole burnt in your bag um <clears throat> you don't want that but sometimes if i have a small hole i'll just take my tape and just cover it up okay and it's hard to see with the with you know to see that it's been taped okay all right guys so now we have our top here and we are going to cut a little bit of it so we can make it even I'm going to bring the camera up a little bit so you can see the top of it. Let me adjust it a second here. Okay, just so you can see the top. Okay, so I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm just going to cut, try to even it out. Okay, so that did it. Now what I'm going to do is sit this back and I'm gonna make a bow. Now I'm gonna carry it back down so you can get to see the desktop. So you can get to see the fun I have with these bows. All right, so what I'm gonna do, this is my pipe cleaner. Once I get the bow uh, made, I'll wrap this around. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. Um, ribbon and I'm going to leave a tail on here I don't need the tail to be too long so I'm going to start my bow at this point and I don't want my bow to that's, that's about enough okay and then just take it and pinch it together this is my tail I'm leaving that out so once you pinch it, you're gonna take and turn it so that your next fold will be the material side facing up, okay? And you try to make it the same size as the first loop, okay? 
take that, pinch that together. Okay. Now, um, another way you can do this too is you can keep your little tail at the bottom. Make your first little loop. Pinch it together. And then twist it. And your second little loop going down this way. Okay. I'm going to pinch that together. Twist it. And here's your other, your other loop. Pinch it. Turn it. Make another one. I want to do three, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, we're going to twist it. Pinch it. Turn it. So you're going to be pinching and turning with each loop that you make, okay? Okay, so this is my last one. I have one, two, three, one, two, three and a tail okay so here's my other tail i'm going to cut it okay and i'm going to take my pipe cleaner and i'm going to right in the middle where i've been holding it i'm going to tighten it really good um so I can either use these scissors here. You see the cut that's on there? I can use these or I can use these and make um, a design. So what I'm going to do is, I love to use these, but I'm going to just um, do these a little different. And I'm going to make sure they're even first because I got one a little bit longer than the other. So let's just get them even so we can start out on a good note. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and fold this one side. Okay, you see how I got it folded? I'm going to fold that. And I'm going to cut up. Okay, so you see how I have that? So I'm going to do the same with this side. Take it, fold it, and cut up. And I used to get it, <laughs> guys, I used to get it mixed up. I would have one side like this, and then I would cut the wrong direction over here. And have them both looking <laughs> different. So be careful with that. It's easy to do. But um, just be mindful of that. That you're cutting both sides in the same direction. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. And we're going to get it attached to our bag. Our basket. I don't know why I keep saying bag, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this one out the way. Pipe cleaners are so long. Okay, I'm going to put the first pipe cleaner to the back. Okay, making sure you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to get this on. I can't wait till my ribbon come. I ordered so much beautiful ribbon. They had ribbon for $2, $5. I mean, and they had it, it was like 40% 40, 40 off. So some really expensive ribbon they had good, good sales on. Okay, guys. This is our beautiful ribbon. And you can, you know, put some... Uh, creases in these uh, tails too if you like. All right. I'm going to put just a little bit more from this top. 
All right. And guys, you know that I always um, put um, the contents of my baskets on a card. And I'm going to show you how. When I buy, I uh, used to buy paper, they was giving me this free four by six photo paper. And I accumulated so much, guys, because they would send like two packs of 100. And I ordered paper a lot uh, from my uh, my law firm. And then uh, I would print a lot of pictures. Um, so I accumulated a lot of these. And so what I do is... I just take one and I'm going to show you the label writer that I use. Let me see, I have two of them. Let me get one, guys. Hold on just a second. I have two of them. This is, this is one that I'm not using right now, so I have it bagged up. And I have the other one over there connected to my other computer. This is what the label uh, printer looks like. It's the Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo. And what I do is it's connected, it connects to your computer and you just type in all the contents that are, uh, that's in your, this, well, this is what I do. I'm not telling you to do it, but I always type the contents of the basket in and then I'm gonna show you what the label looks like. So the contents print out on a label this size, just a regular address label. I take the back off, I uh, press it to the paper. Then when I decide my price, I put my price sticker. And I'm gonna show you my price stickers. I make my price stickers um, in Cricut Design Space. So um, I remove the, and they are printed on sticker paper. So I remove the backing and I um, put it under the information of the contents. And then I just put it down in the middle of my, top of my uh, basket. And I'm gonna show you the top. See, that's normally what I do. I put the information card right up here. I'll tape it to the back and see this, front part is protecting it and I'll take it to the back so if anybody is interested in this basket they'll read up here and see what's in it I also put the size of the t-shirt up there as well so they'll see everything that's in here and they'll see the price okay guys all right I think we did good guys I hope you all uh, found this video enjoyable uh, I don't really do long videos so you won't have to worry about this too much um, but I did want to go ahead and accommodate one of my subscribers uh, so that she would see, be able to see the beginning and the end. All right, guys, I really enjoyed you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Share this video with a friend that also likes crafting and gift baskets. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Bye-bye.